What's up guys, welcome back to my channel, Layla here, and today we are looking at the Arteza Everblend Art Markers, and I know I already sort of reviewed this, but that was the 60 count pack, we're looking at the 120 count pack, and I'm so excited to like check these out, because honestly, from the 60 count pack, I had really no issues with them, I really loved them, so I'm just really excited to get into the extra 60 colors in this pack. So this is how it's packaged. Let's go ahead and open it up. If I can find the opening, here we go. <laughs> there we are. And this is basically the same sort of case from the 60 count, just uh, thicker, wider to carry the extra 60 colors. And then we've got our little, <laughs> whatever this is, <laughs> our strap in order to hold it. <laughs> okay. And I'm gonna go ahead and open it. We've got our standard buckles like usual and the Velcro and all the colors with some gaps, of course, because they do leave extra slots for you to put in sort of art supplies that you may want to bring all those empty slots right there. And of course it's deconstructible as I have shown in the past videos that I've done of these, which I really love because then it just opens right up. And this is such a huge product that it's hard to show it all. I'd zoom out, but then you'd be seeing like a lot of extra stuff on my desk and yeah, yeah, we're not doing that. <laughs> okay. And so I went ahead really quick and sorted these colors out. So starting from this pale peach going onwards, we have the original 60 colors from the 60 count pack. And then starting from this clear watercolor and going on these are the 60 new colors that come with the 120 pack and we can definitely see that there are a lot more grays which is good to get all of that sort of grayscale colors in and then we have some more browns which is definitely appreciated i felt that the original 60 count pack really lacked on the brown selection so i'm glad to see all these nice brown colors and then we've got two more peaches some purples, more greens and blues, yellows, few reds and pinks. So all together, I think this is a really satisfying color pack and I'm super excited to go ahead and start doing color swatches with them and see how much the color swatch matches the cap. Let's go check it out. And of course these are bullet nib and chisel tip markers. I do hear that they may be coming out with brush markers in the future, I don't know when, and it's not confirmed if that's like a for sure thing or not. I keep getting a lot of comments saying that they will. So that's cool. I hope that is true because I think these markers are really awesome and have amazing potential to be brush markers. One thing I can say about this bag is while I like how portable it is, it is so tedious to get the marker back into the slot. It's not like the worst thing ever, but I hate when things take, like I hate when simple things take time to do. Like it shouldn't be this hard putting each marker in and out, especially when you're moving fast. Like I ain't got time for that. <laughs> And so my goal is definitely to use a lot of the new colors in the piece that I'm coloring today, but I also don't wanna stick just to the new colors. So I definitely will be using some of the older colors as well. Since it's the 120 count, it would just feel silly not to use the original as well. All right, and that completes the extra 60 colors that come in the 120 set. And I went ahead and got out my old one because I didn't want to do all 120 on just one card because that would just be a waste of time since I had my other color swatches for the original colors. And yeah, that's all the colors. So I want to go ahead and test out some blending just really quick and then we'll go ahead and get started on coloring something. And so I got a scrap piece of paper and I'm going to use these three colors to blend with. I'm going to be going from a sunflower yellow into a true red and I'm just using the chisel nib to blend because that's where usually most of the ink is. It is slightly harder to blend with chisel nib type markers but not impossible and there we are. Pretty good blending abilities. You still see some transitional lines or areas really but it's not super noticeable as on some other brands that I've tried. So with the blending test done, let's go ahead. Oh, wow, I left a big stain. <laughs> let's go ahead and move on to what I'm coloring. So since my last piece, was traditional in the review for the 60 count markers, I figured I'd bring out a digital piece that I did in Paint Tool Sai and color this girl. 
And so this character I'm coloring in is actually a design that I created on an avatar on Gaia Online. I always like just mentioning where I get my ideas of character design from, and I feel like I'm always mentioning Gaia Online, but it's honestly just a great place for clothing design ideas and character ideas in general for anime type characters. And I promise this is not a sponsor in any way. I just really enjoy the unlimited designs Gaia Online has for avatars. But on to the markers. So in in order to avoid like the tedious pulling out and putting back in of the markers, I just went ahead and selected all the colors I needed for this entire color scheme. And I really enjoy colorful things. So her design is definitely going to be bright and colorful. And since Arteza added two more peachy colors, I went ahead and colored this character in peach. Also, I don't think I mentioned the price. So there's two types of packs with these markers. There's the original 60 count for $69.99 and the 120 count for $118.89. For the 60 count pack, each marker comes to about $1.16. However, if you purchase the 120 count, it's slightly cheaper per marker, coming in at about 99 cents a marker. It's not a huge difference, but when you add all that up, the difference is roughly $20 saved when you purchase the 120 count. Still, they are more pricey than other affordable alcohol markers on the market, but I feel it's pretty reasonable given that Arteza runs on their own color system and these markers perform very well for their price. One downside though is they are non-refillable, which is kind of a bummer, but they do have somewhat of an open stock. I say somewhat because they don't actually sell their markers as one individual marker, but rather they sell a single color in a pack of four. So if you run out of, let's say, burgundy, you can just go to the Arteza site and purchase a four count pack of burgundy for $8.99. And while I find that super cool, I'm also kind of frustrated by it because to me, it's surprising that they then up the price even more per marker this way. So four markers at $8.99 comes to about $2.20 per marker. It probably has to do with the overall cost of packaging? I'm not sure. That's just a theory though and not at all confirmed by anyone. The other awesome thing though is they do sell replacement nibs. A pack of 10 replacement nibs cost $9.99 and I find that pretty exciting as not many marker companies do this. So this is like a great step in the right direction to the possibility of only having to purchase the marker once and then upkeep them with replacing nibs. Of course, I'm hoping that they come out with refill ink as that would really complete the system of just replacing certain parts of the marker without having to repurchase the actual marker. As far as cons with the actual marker itself, I can't explain it all that well, I feel, but the nibs feel a little odd when coloring. So I'm not sure if I'd mentioned this before, but basically the best way to describe it is they feel dry, but they're not. The ink flow is super good, so the markers themselves aren't actually dry, but they give a dry sensation or sound sometimes when working with them. But it doesn't really affect the quality of the actual markers. Like I said, the ink flow is great and they're not actually dry. The numbering system that they work on is also a little odd. Every color identification starts with the letter A, which is completely irrelevant when identifying the color itself. So I ended up taking the A off when doing the swatches and I'm assuming A of course most likely stands for Arteza. I then found the numbers jumped around a lot from one blue being numbered at 262 and then the very next blue, which would just be a shade darker, being numbered 8269. Obviously again, not a big deal. I just found it weird. <laughs> Aside from that, pros would be I really love the rich colors and they have a great color selection when it comes to pastels, which is something I feel more affordable brands tend to skip over and I don't know why. Dark and bold and vivid and bright seem to be always the theme with the more affordable brands and I enjoyed it in the beginning, but the bright and vivid colors tend to be overwhelming. 
especially when it comes to wanting different values in a certain piece. So I am proud of Arteza for putting together a really, really good color selection where not all the colors are fighting for your attention, but instead complement each other, especially when it comes to all the different values. They are also more affordable than other brands like Prismacolor and Copic, for examples. Um, they come with a great carrying case as you saw in the beginning. And like I said before, you can purchase the single colors just in a four count pack. The replacement nibs are awesome. The colors blend well. And when it came to color swatching, the color caps weren't too far off. And so when I finish in coloring, I add some shinies overall with my Sakura Jelly Roll gel pen in white, which I always love to do because I feel it just definitely brings the piece together. And that's that. So I really enjoy how Arteza lays down color. And I really just am so excited for the future of these markers as far as what more they're going to add, whether it be a brush nib, which I totally think they should do, or more colors. But I really think the extra 60 colors in the 120 pack just really complete the line of Everblend art markers by Arteza. And of course, this video is not sponsored, but the marker set was given to me for free in exchange for an honest review. And if you enjoyed this video, maybe comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks guys. Bye.